One Eye. One Eye is a sad story about a boy who was embarrassed by his mother. My mother only had one eye. All my life I hated her because she was such an embarrassment to me. She ran a small shop at a flea market. She collected little weeds and such to sell. Anything for the money we needed. She cooked for students and teachers to support the family and was such an embarrassment. There was one day during elementary school when she came to say hello to me. I was so embarrassed. How could she do this to me? I ignored her and threw her a hateful look and ran out. The next day at school, one of my classmates said, Ew, your mom only has one eye. I wanted to bury myself. I also wanted her to just disappear. So I confronted her that day and said, If you're only going to make me a laughing stock, why don't you just die? She remained silent. I didn't even stop to think for a second about what I had said because I was so full of anger. I was oblivious to her feelings. I wanted out of her house. I guess I felt a little bad, but at the same time, it felt good to think that I had said what I wanted to say all this time. Maybe it was because she hadn't punished me, but I didn't think I'd hurt her feelings badly. That night, I woke up and went to the kitchen to get a glass of water. She was sitting there at the kitchen table crying quietly as if she was afraid she might wake me. I took a look at her, then turned away because of the thing I had said to her earlier. There was something pinching at me in the corner of my heart. Even so, I hated my mother who was crying out of her one eye. So I told myself I would grow up and become successful because I hated my one-eyed mom and our desperate poverty. Then I studied really hard. I left my mother and went to Seoul and studied and got accepted into the Seoul University with all the confidence I had. Then I got married. I bought a house of my own. Then I had kids too. Now I'm living happily as a successful man. And I like it here because it's a place that doesn't remind me of my mom. This happiness was getting bigger and bigger when someone unexpectedly came to see me. What? Who's this? I said as I opened the front door. It was my mother, still with her one eye. It felt as if the whole sky was falling down. My little daughter took one look at my mother and ran away crying. She was scared of my mom's eye. I turned to my mom and asked her, who are you? I don't know you. I really wish that were true. How dare you come to my house and scare my daughter, I screamed. Get out of here now. She quietly answered, Oh, I'm so sorry. I must have the wrong address. She turned and walked away. I watched as she slowly made her way down the street and disappeared around the corner. Thank goodness, I said to myself. She didn't recognize me. I was quite relieved. I told myself I wasn't going to care or think about this for the rest of my life. One day, many years later, I received a letter in the mail informing me my class was having a school reunion. I wanted to see all my old friends from school, and so I decided to attend. After the reunion, I decided to pay a visit to the house where I'd grown up, just out of curiosity. When I got there, the house was empty and falling to ruin. The neighbor said my mother had died a few years before and I didn't shed a single tear. Then they handed me a sealed envelope. They said my mother had wanted me to have it. I opened it and read the note inside. My son, I think my life has been long enough now. I won't try to visit you in Seoul anymore, but would it be too much to ask if I wanted you to come visit me once in a while? I was so glad to see your face once again. I miss you so much. You mean the world to me. I've always been so proud of you, my son. I'm sorry I only have one eye and that I was such an embarrassment to you all your life. You see, when you were very little, you got into an accident and lost your eye. As a mother, I couldn't stand to watch you grow up with only one eye, so I gave you mine. I never regretted my decision. How could I? 
when you love someone, their happiness is far more important than your own. There was more in the letter, but I couldn't continue reading. The slip of paper fell from my shaking hands and I collapsed to my knees, sobbing like a little boy.